years we worked with Photoshop quite a bit. Um, we also did a photo shoot while I was there. And so we kind of, I kind of got to see like the inner workings of that and how they use their technology to edit their photos and kind of edit their ad presence. I've got to believe that a, a photo shoot is a hotbed of collaboration. Yeah, it really was. There was like five different people, like a bunch of different cords up to different things. There was stuff that I didn't understand what was happening, but everybody knew what they were doing. <laughs> and, <laughs> and in an internship, that's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> so I was a little bit confused, but everybody seemed like they knew what they were doing, and everybody meshed really well with each other. Okay. Others, what did what, what uh, you see? I shadowed the social media strategist. So that was really interesting because I got to see um, a lot of her job was looking at the demographic that um, a certain um, uh, client was trying to appeal to and what they were doing online, where they were online, and what sort of things attracted them. And it was really interesting because she used technology to sort of analyze how different types of people think and how they express themselves D on the internet. Really so data visualization. <laughs> how yeah. can I see what's going on? Fascinating. I shadowed the production coordinator and I also shadowed Emma's person for the last day, but I was also at the photo shoot and I saw all of that. But for the first day, I saw more of the business side. And she was like, oh, if only you had your laptop, you could help me. And I was like, oh, I actually have it with me. So I got to like get my laptop out. We were trying to find restaurants to shoot for one of the next ads. So I actually got to go online. And I was like helping her. I made a spreadsheet. I did all this stuff. And I like real list. So. Data analysis, collecting information. And how about in the graphic design shop? Yeah, so I shadowed a graphic designer that works at a footwear company, Acorn Footwear. So they do a lot of. It's a little bit of graphic design as well as industrial design, and they do the industrial design in Illustrator mostly. So I was looking at more of the design aspect than more of the like, um, business and logistical stuff, um, which I kind of like. You know, the power sometimes, um, and I know Yarmouth has a, a high energy, highly engaged art department, and uh, Alice and Ted in our conversation before, much of that's available if participants in today's <coughs> session want to learn more about what Yarmouth High School is doing with art, they could head to the Yarmouth High School website and look, look on our teacher pages and it w you'll see where the art teachers are that connects to all student portfolios. So, so those the, are the publicly available. Yep. Is available and I'm confident in some of your college applications there will be links back into your design work to move forward. Uh, in your current day jobs, you're students at Yarmouth High School. <laughs> so, what are you doing at Yarmouth High School that you could could follow the dots towards a career at the VA agency? What do you do in your in high school that is actually getting you ready for the kind of place that you saw? Well, I'm in an AP studio art class, which is like the highest art class you can take at Yarmouth. Um, and we have different portfolios you can do. So you can do drawing or 2D design. So I'm doing 2D design, and some of that relies on using like a computer and a tablet kind of thing. So I saw a lot of people at VIA, or at least a few people. I assume a lot of people use them, but I saw a lot of people using tablets to like do all their work. So I think that having that skill kind of gives me a leg up to kind of. Yeah, and not yeah, only yeah. using the tablet, but using it in a in creative, a purpose yeah. way. Somebody else. Yeah. Um, I, something that we do at Yarmouth and a huge advantage to having the computers, I think, is uh, being able to communicate through technology, talk to, being able to have um, that uh, ability to uh, discuss, to share with your students, with your teachers um, at a moment's notice. Um, whether through email or uh, I know every time I start a group project, the first thing we do is say, I'll make the Google Doc. So, um, <laughs> so just having that element of communication and um, knowing how to uh, sort of share ideas with And people. use it for purpose. Yeah. And you saw that happening in VIA. Um, just like outside of school, I know like we use Google Docs a lot yeah. for group projects. But being able to communicate with your teacher like on the weekend or outside of school, be like, I have a question, can we meet? So it's a lot of like communication that we use throughout, like just using email. For you know what you, there's a difference, and I'm, I'm confident the four of you are aware, and to the professionals in the room, there's a difference between an email to a buddy, mm -hmm. to a peer, 
and to a boss, to a teacher. The schools are hierarchical, and I absolutely understand that in Yarmouth there's a collegial connection, but you're writing to a teacher, somebody who, to whom you have different, a different set of responsibilities than you do to your friends. You're aware, you've developed an awareness, you write differently, I've got to believe in writing. How about you? Yeah, I would say that um, having the access to the laptop has largely planted the seeds for my passion for graphic design. I see myself as an interested in career and not a teacher, and I think it led me to take my first graphic design class because Yarmouth does offer a graphic design class, and I didn't really know what it was going into it, but I thought it sounded cool, so I kind of just went for it. And then after that, I started, that's kind of when I got kind of a beginner level of Photoshop and Illustrator and the other kind of Adobe Suite programs, and then I immediately followed up with taking um, the initiative to start a magazine, independent study, magazine design, um, which also led me to do a job shadow last year with a graphic designer, and then over the summer I did an internship with who I worked with, so I did a bunch of freelance design, and um, I mean, I've, it's led me to do a ton outside of school with graphic design and building a portfolio and having a blog and all that, so, yeah. And that is the piece, and I've got to do a brief mea culpa because I, in preparing questions, another question that I had proposed to ask this uh, this group of, of students was, uh, what what creative uses of technology do you see? And it was wonderful, we were talking this morning, and I was met by the deer in the headlights look. Of, of, and what what you have reminded me of once again, is that technology is there every day. It is uniform. It's fully supported uh, across the school. So when I asked what sort of creative things, it was like, uh, what do you mean? It's just the way we do the work of school. The stories that we've just heard, uh, what a compelling story. And again, my, as we talk about those complex reasoning, we, we think oftentimes of how do schools support both the development of the, if they were technical skills, the ability to write a five paragraph essay, the ability to use an a specific application, but it is the power of the soft skills, the ability to tell a story that is as important as well. And I think our team from uh, Yarmouth has done a wonderful job with that. Thanks so much for sharing. That.